When she was a young girl, doctors told Montreal native Dominique Riel that she would spend the rest of her life as an invalid, unable to walk, see, and incapable of caring for herself. But miraculously, she's defied all the odds. For Dominique has only half a brain. The doctors say I'm amazing because I'm not supposed to walk, talking, see, because I'm supposed to be blind. <laughs> Suppose is the most w important word in my, my phrase. It's a unique and confounding medical mystery that has captivated neurologists around the world. And one of those is leading neuroscientist Alain Petito. In a groundbreaking experiment, the scientists patch one eye leaving Dominique with one sighted half and one blind half. Okay, Dominique, there's going to be a fixation point presented in the middle of the screen. Please keep fixating on it until it disappears, okay? Okay, no problem, Olga. I say, oh, I see like a flash. Oh, they say, oh, it's interesting. Huh? Incredibly, Dominique's eye is able to track the light, even after it's crossed into what should be her blind field. From Dominique, we've confirmed that, in fact, uh, there, is, there are residual visual abilities in the blind field. So somehow, the information that is presented in the blind field is relayed to the remaining hemisphere. The question is how? How could Dominique see anything when she lacks the vital right hemisphere to process the images? The obvious next step is to scan her brain. In average sighted people, visual information travels along the optic nerve to the right and left visual cortex. You can see that this hemisphere is taking over. But as Petito and his graduate student, Sandra Lee, analyze Dominique's data, likely, they witness something remarkable. This is the remaining hemisphere, so you can see that this hemisphere is taking over some of the visual processing. So the, these areas of activation in the, in the posterior visual areas, in fact, are from stimulation of her blind field. Exactly, yeah. Dominique is using a surprisingly primitive part of her brain to transmit information to what's left of her visual cortex. Known as the retinocollicular pathway, it connects to the superior colliculus, and under normal circumstances, it's the system we use to move and focus our eyes, but not to actually see. This system is supposed to be far too primitive to carry actual visual information. But in the absence of an optic nerve, Dominique is using this part of her brain to transmit highly structured visual data. For the scientists, it's a groundbreaking discovery. 